Every individual in the world has an identity that is worth protecting and securing. Our identities are the true description of who we are and should be the most protected identification of every individual. I used my debit card to pay for some groceries in Tesco's. I was chatting to the checkout assistant and I was probably distracted and wasn't really taking much notice of my surroundings. And I went home. The next day I noticed that my debit card wasn't in my wallet. I went straight to the bank and they looked at my debit card statement. They said that there had been four transactions of £250. I'd lost a thousand pounds out of my account. It was a horrible feeling. I felt like I'd been burgled. Um, and just seeing the statement on my debit card statement made me feel quite sick. I felt very violated and vulnerable. The bank was amazing. They immediately took me into another room. The bank manager got hold of the credit card or debit card fraud squad and they were on the phone and then immediately to me. They uh, worked out that the money had been taken from a long way away from the original scene, two transactions from Hen uh, Uxbridge and two from Watford. So these people certainly knew what they were doing, getting as far away from the scene of the crime as possible. They refunded my money within four hours, which is incredible, I thought. They contacted the relevant police and they were very reassuring and it was amazing service. It has changed me in the way that I'm, um, I make sure I'm not distracted anymore when I put in my PIN number when I'm buying anything. I make sure that I'm more vigilant of who's around me, that there's no one looking over my shoulder. I shield my PIN much more than I used to. Um, and I'm a little bit more wary about, say, online banking. I'm probably not, some, it's not something that I would want to do anymore. Um, and it's made me much more aware that there are people out there who really will do anything to um, get your money. I went to the Henley Standard and I told them all about it to make other shoppers more aware, more vigilant. And they put the article in the paper. Um, and I also went to Tesco's, the store where I'm pretty sure it happened because that was the last time I used my card. And they um, said that they did have security cameras above that particular checkout that I was on. But it wasn't working that day, which is a shame. But they said they would certainly be looking out for suspicious characters hanging around the checkout tills.